Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss that how we can get a difference between two dates. So in this video we are going to discuss about Excel Days 360 function. So this Excel Days 360 function returns number of days between two dates and now you might be thinking that why we should use this Days 360 formula instead of the Days formula which we discussed in our previous video. So let me tell you that this days 360 returns the difference of days based on a 360 day year where all the months are assumed to have 30 day only. So for example, suppose your order date is on 1st January 2021 and your delivery date is on 1st January 2022. That is practically impossible but let's assume a scenario where your order date was on 1st January 2021 and your delivery date is 1st January 2022 and somebody in your organization asked you to get the difference between these two dates based on a 360 day year then you won't be able to use the days function in excel which gives you the difference between two dates based on a 365 day year so when you have to get the difference based on a 360 day year then you have to use this days 360 function now let's talk about the purpose of this formula. So the sole purpose of this formula is to get you days between the two dates in a 360 day year and it will return the value as a number representing the number of days. So let's take an example here and we will use this table where we have our first name, order date and delivery date. And now you have to get the difference of the days between delivery date and order date based on 360 day year so you have to use equal to then you will put days and you can see excel is providing me this intelligence where it says days 360 and if i press tab then you can see it has asked me three arguments the first argument is start date second argument is end date and the third argument is method this method argument is optional but let's discuss about the start date the start date is the date from which you want to get the difference from the another date so the another date will be the end date and this method optional provides you the day count method if it is false so suppose if you put false then it uses the us method which is default method in this days 360 calculation and if you have selected true then it will use the european method so let's put the start date here so my start date will be the order date and then my end date will be the delivery date let's close the bracket and press enter now you can see that the days difference is 360 although if you have used days function here and let's take order date as the first argument and the delivery date as the second argument it gives me 365 days so i have to take delivery date as the first date here and order it as a second date or the end date then it will give me the days in positive which is 365 now you can see the difference here if i use date function it is giving me 365 days and if i use days 360 then it gives me 360 days so that is the difference between days and days 360 so let's drag this formula for our entire data here and you can see this is the difference between this order date and this delivery date. So this is how you can use this days 360 function to get the number of days between two dates when you have to get your difference based on a 360 day year. 